Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Albania or Iberia campaign in Europe, 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 4. We're going to... Uh, let's see, we have room for how many ships? Uh, like 80? So let's just queue up 80 ships uh, right on here. Until we run out of money. It's not going to work, you know, because that's apparently too difficult to code properly. Captured some outdated ships. We should get rid of these forts. So, we have uh, a war with Spain, which we can do in 1707, three years. We have a war with France, which we can do right now. France is allied with a whole bunch of people that don't matter. So it's probably about time to go smash France's face in again. We're going to have to have a, a pretty major war with Russia. And Perm, of course, is going to get involved as well. But if we attack Perm, we can take land off Russia without involving Austria. Uh, do we care about that, actually? It's two provinces from Russia that I need. Worth 12 war score without co-belligerent. It's going to cost 24. It's not a big deal. Austria's pretty weak. What if we just attack Austria di directly? Why don't we just do this? We'll, we'll attack Perm, we will not co belligerent Russia, we'll separate peace, we'll pay the Diplo. That'll be fine. That way we can get that land off Russia pretty easily and then still spend 100% on Perm. Kilwa doesn't want to be friends with the Ottomans. Uh huh. Alright, so let's prepare some, some sizable stacks here. We'll upgrade these to 40 stacks. We'll shift these three 40 stacks over by one. We'll have you come over to here. Yes, France, I'm getting ready to attack you. Check out his forts. He's got three forts here. Level 2, level 2, and level 2. Well, those are all going to fall rather quickly. I want to go a 40 stack in Laborde, 20 and 20 here and here, because it's hills and mountains. Laborde just feels like it's going to need a couple extra troops. And then there's no forts here. No forts here. Here's a fort up there, level 4. So we take one of the 40 stacks to here, one of the 40 stacks to here. You can march across up to Pateau with a, 60 st a 20 stack behind you to reinforce. Let's grab the navy and bring it over here now. What small navy we can. Let's grab these ships and bring them out. Whatever they are, I don't care. Eventually we'll get their navies all where they belong. But for now, just combine. Combine the new ships. Bring them together. Split out the, the lights. These are all lights. Cool. France isn't really going to have a notable naval presence, actually, so we need it to be over here, not here. There's no fort here. There's a fort on the board, so... Okay, um, we have a truce with you? No? Um... I have been lacking the ability to, to core, so a quick fabricated claim on, like, the Pyrenees. Might be nice. Do we actually need to core any of this land to get the achievement? Own or have a subject. It's just his own. It doesn't even need to be cored. Alright, so the claims don't even really matter that much. So we do the war with France first, I think, just to secure just to secure um, Iberia.
This would all be so much easier if they would actually automatically put check trade in the right proper trade node. Hopefully that gets patched in at some point. Okay, I think we're ready. We'll put the three siege leader in charge here. The you're, you're just going to kind of like be off on your own, so you need a good leader. And then you are the point guy up here, so you get that guy. Coming for you, France. We got Poito and Laborde both blockaded. We've got most of their forts occupied. Um, take 20 stacks back here to siege. Once you finish this, you can move up to Limousin. No, you can't. You can go to nowhere. You just stay there and be ready to reinforce. Captain military points. Uh, we can't tech up. We don't need a general. I guess we're doing military development. Looking for some big numbers. That'll do it. a pretty quick siege. Does France not have an army? France has 33k troops. I'm taking the board. Uh, let's swap in the three, siege, three siege leader up there. Break that zone of control so we can get the three siege guy up on on his capital. need to get onto here, which means that you can come up to here. Okay, we've already taken the Pyrenees. Let's take the non-seed, non-leadered army there. Let's get you. Come help with, uh, I don't know, come up this way. Come up to there. Split the 20 stack off. Let's slow that siege down slightly. Just wait a second. He has zero siege value. He has one siege value. I don't even think the French... Do they, do they just not have an army here? That's a level 2 fort. Level 2, level 2. The fact that he's got multiple forts next to each other makes them, like, worthless. You can hit Paris now. Paris is only a level 2 fort, plus the capital bonus. We'll take two stacks anyway, just to speed it up, plus the three siege leader. I don't know where his army is. I think his army's like off exiled somewhere, you know, being ridiculous or something. This war was declared on... April 1st. It's been five months, we've seen no French. There's one French. One French cannon. The defenders of France. Beats me, man. The French are just rolling over. I just don't even know, I don't know what to do. Here.
There they are. Hey, uh... Your country's occupied. New organization. Well, we have 48 war score, and we haven't even had a battle. He's already trying to surrender. So we know he's on low enthusiasm, and I don't need this much war score to win. We've already, already got his capital. I think we just take what we want. Finish taking that. Take a look at the trade map mode. We get up to Leonay. There we go. 74% overextension is fine. Yeah, I had a feeling it put me over. I don't care. Do you care? I don't care. Okay, we split every 40 stack so that they are 20 stacks. And then we deploy on any province that has unrest. So one here, 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 here. And then just extra ones along the French border. So now we're pretty much ready for the war with uh, Perm and Russia. We've got all of, I of, of Iberia except for one more province we need to take off Spain. We do have some heavies mixed in here, so let's do that. Grab the heavies. Have the heavies merge in and probably come together somewhere around here. So now in the Genoa node, we have 95% control. Savoy has a little bit. How do I not have Genoa? Ah. Mentua, Mentua, Mentua. No, that would just be mean. Um, so if we wanted to make more money from trade, we could probably start sending troops or sending some of the ships again now to the other trade node. Let's try that again. Um, Ragusa was the one that I had calculated out earlier that made the most sense, I believe. So 136.5. This is probably the first month after having had that war end. Either that or the, the trade power was already being applied in Ragusa. No, it wasn't. So 149. Let's see what we end up with next month. You never click these events. Just, just let them time out. It's the better way to do it. Whatever, it's more money. We're making more money. Let's not worry about it. Whenever you click this event, it just allows it to happen again. And so we're just postponing it, how often it can actually fire. There, it just, it finally it auto accepted. And now the event can happen again. Which is fine. I mean, it's not even a big deal. All that's going to happen is we're going to end up having a, a rebellion, looks like now, down here. Our force limit went up by 15. We have the manpower, we have the money. Let's build an alliterative army here. This is unfortunately going to pull troops off of the Russian front. This army doesn't really need to be here, and since we're not going to police down here anymore, let's bring them both home. Captain on Diplo. Uh, war exhaustion. No war exhaustion to buy down. I think we're doing development yet again. We're looking for, yeah, point one. That's pretty good. Sort by cost. I'd say if it's above 0 0.08, then I'm going to click the button. Oh, wow, 0 0.15. What is the good that you make in Tarnovo? 
Is that a gold mine? No, it's uh, iron. Again, if it's above 0 0.08. Okay, I did just deploy a missionary on one of the provinces that we're trying to core, um, but that's alright. The clergy want land. So the development that I just did messed them up. The Cossacks are ex just extremely loyal. I'd have to give more land to them to even be able to use their loyalty. Demand military support. No, I think we do this. And then we can demand military support. Uh, and we'll just give some of this land over here that needs to get converted. Preferably a high development province. Uh, this one's already being converted, Leone. Here. Uh, burgers, Dauphine. You can have this one. That should solve that problem. 75% chance that the Portuguese separatists fire. It's pretty high. And yet it didn't fire. Probably don't need nearly as many men over here anymore. No, not the island. Madeira. So, Portuguese separatists, we have just a number of them there again. Fortunately, we can reroute this army. And we'll have a 40 stack nearby available with a pretty good leader. All they have to do is just make it so that you can't unpause the game. And they should. And I'm going to keep on doing it until they do. Because there shouldn't be obvious exploits like this available in the game. Oh no, a general! Okay, so they're already in combat, and it's a fairly sizable army. Let's do that. That is the 365. Which leaves the 33 available to deal with the Portuguese rebellion. Either that, or they can make it so this event could fire again, even if it's up on the screen. That would work too. Probably would make more sense for multiplayer. Okay, we'll stay there till we get the siege back. And we need to start coring more stuff. It's gonna be a while till we have enough points for these anyway. I'm on the revolt risk map mode. Okay, that's the occupation of Russia, gotcha. It's like, why is it coloring it that way? All right, I think we should attack uh, Perm now. Although I'd like to get some more of these troops ferried over. Uh, let's wait till we get the Portuguese 40 stack. That'll that'll give me enough men over there, I think. Our troops to Spain just ended. We should do that. He doesn't even have any allies. Where's his capital? It's here. We should have time to form up an 80 stack to deal with that. An 80 stack is probably not strictly necessary, is it? 
All right, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Uh, next episode, I think we do the war with Perm and Russia, and we might actually be done with the achievement at that point. Because that's the only other thing we need. We need Spain, which we already have. Uh, we just have to wait for the ticking war score to get to 10%, and we can demand that from him. Um, we could probably send our navy. Yeah, let's send our navy over there. That'll make him want out a little bit quicker. Just drop some troops off here. Get him on the capital. That'll force him to want to get out. Rebellion in the Pyrenees. Too small to matter. We're still over 100%. Now we're not. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to take a break here. Again, I'll, we'll probably wrap this up in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.